<coughs> my wig is moving back. I need you to stay still, sis. <coughs> Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. This is what happens when you don't braid your hair underneath your wigs. They be, your wig be trying to leave. <coughs> There we go. Time. Time after time. I think I'm ready. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a different kind of video. It's going to be a two in one. Um, first, it's going to be a haul because this video is in partnership with Shoe Dazzle. So I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I picked out from Shoe Dazzle. And I'm gonna be trying the shoes on for you guys. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys something special um, that you guys have been asking me to do for like forever and I haven't got around to do it. But I figured this would be like the perfect time while I'm trying on shoes. Um, Cause it's not really enough shoes to do like a whole like shoe try on video where I just show the shoes and not talk, you know what I mean? So I figured I would show you guys the shoes but I'm also gonna show you guys like how I walk in heels. And also, it's also gonna help you with your poses and how to pose. So I figured I'd do both, why not? First things first, I did wanna talk about Shoe Dazzle. Um, Shoe Dazzle is a membership based service. It's a site where you can sign up and you can get a VIP membership, which basically means that you'll be able to take a style quiz that will tell you what kind of shoes you like and it'll recommend different shoes for you each month. And each month you will get the opportunity to purchase a pair of shoes but you can skip the month you have five days to skip the month um, at the beginning of the month and if you don't skip the month your card will be charged but you get to keep your credits they don't expire ever so you can always go back on the site anytime during the month and make your purchase or you can save it for the next month totally up to you it is 39.95 a month but haha if you sign up with my coupon if you go in the description box and check the description box like you're supposed to and you find that link and you click that link you will be able to get two pair of shoes for $39.95 also I have a lot of credits and I haven't used them so I figured I will go ahead and give some to you guys because I love y'all so this is low-key like a giveaway so I will be putting the all the information in the description box for you to check that out on how you can get a credit from me and get some free shoes these are the shoes that I picked out uh, I have four pairs here. Two of them are the same. Don't judge me. But I, if I like a shoe, I get both colors. So, first thing I have. Oh, I forgot. I, anytime I order things online, I always forget what I got. These are like fuchsia. Pretty plain. They're like a uh, single sole fuchsia heel. Now, this kind of heel, this block heel, is a lot better for people with weak ankles. If you have weak ankles, okay and heels are not your strong suit you don't do well in heels start off with a heel like this you see how wide it is it's not skinty so you're not going to be baby reindeer legs but yeah this will help to save you from those types of problems okay thick heels save lives super into color this year so i had to get a shoe like this this is another block heel now this one's a little bit lower i believe that one's about like four inches this one looks like it's about two and a half three um i'm a six inch gal but for those of you who can't handle the six, I got you with the three, all right? And this one has ankle support. So like I said, if you got baby reindeer legs, this will help you out. These are wrap heels. They also will be a little bit more comfortable because they're not as high and you won't be up higher. Um, so if you have flat feet, this will be more up your alley. I also really like wrap heels right now. This will be really cute with like a flowy skirt, you know, for the summertime, I'm feeling that. But for those of you who do like the stilettos, I got you, okay? You can never have too many simple black heels. Facts, no printer. So this is another wrap heel, but this one is a lot skintier, okay? So this is a stiletto. This is about one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is about four and a half, four. If you do have the weak ankles, the baby reindeer, you got Bambi legs, then these may not work out for you too much. Especially because there's literally like no support right here. Like it's just strap, honey. <laughs> you thought you were covered. You're not. This is G-string. It is doable. I'm gonna show you how and I put them on. Don't worry, I got you. I got a black pair and then I also got a gold pair because I'm extra. Oh, and I'm a size nine, by the way. Big feet, big feet, skinny legs. La Cienega, 
Boulevardist, but you know what? No shame in my game, okay? So yes, um, this is just a regular gold. Um, and I also really like the wrap. Like I said, wraps are my fave. And I will also be sharing with you all how to walk in your heel and also how to pose for your pictures because I'm thick. I mean, I'm not thick, but I'm thick in my mind. So you just have to be, you know, aware. Let's try on some shoes, shall we? Okay guys, so, hi. Um, I am wearing the black ones. I didn't do the black ones because I wanted to show y'all what they look like when I have them on my body. My body. So tips for your heels, standing, walking, all that stuff. Um, I always recommend that you shift your weight. I feel like a lot of people have problems walking in their heels because they don't shift their weight to the front. They put all their weight on their heel, on their actual, on this part of their foot. You wanna put your weight on the balls of your feet. I ran track. So when you're running track, I have, I have really flat feet. When I first started running track, I was running with my whole foot. Like when I was running, my whole foot would hit the ground. But if you notice, spikes, which are sneakers with little spikes in the front to grip the track, spikes only have spikes in the front of the shoe, in the ball of the shoe. This is where, you know, it grips the track so that you can propel forward. But it's not in the back because you don't need to propel forward with this part of your foot. Dogs have like, like they have their paw and then they have the back part where they can rest. You only rest on your heel, okay? You don't want to like be walking on your, on your heels with your heel. So anytime I'm walking, I put my foot forward and I put the weight, I shift my weight onto the ball of my foot this part of my foot not the heel because if you put your weight on your heel you're more likely to wobble like this so you're always standing forward not completely forward but you know you're putting your weight forward so my weight is not on the back of my foot it's a good calves workout but you know you'll get used to it practice okay practice makes perfect and i also flex my foot i had to learn how to flex my foot and make an arch because like i said track can't run flat footed with your super pronate foot all down flat on the ground. You gotta, you gotta like spring forward and kind of run on your toes. So I walk on my toes. Yes, gonna do a pose tutorial now and show you guys basically how I pose for pictures. So yeah, this is awkward because I normally don't describe this. So hopefully it makes sense. I'm not good with words, but I'm gonna try my best. So first of all, it depends on what you have on. Obviously it depends on your outfit. It depends on um your body type because you're gonna want to like pose for how you want to look just in case you have an anonymous photographer or you know you're just you gave the phone to somebody and said take a picture of me you got to know how to work with what you got even if your angles aren't what you want because angles are key but so are you <laughs> you want to look more thick i got you if i stand straight i mean i don't really have much hip my curves are very small don't have much in the front, not a whole lot in the back. I got enough in the back to work with, but it's not a lot. It's not, you know. Whew. This is me when I stand straight. Now, heels automatically give you a lift. You know, you want to look sexy. Then heels is the way to go. The first thing you want to do is assess your outfit. What do you want to stand out? Practice at home in the mirror first with what you're wearing so that you know how you want to look in the picture. Like, I always practice my poses in the mirror I contort my body and maneuver it to where I want it to be. And then by the time I'm ready to take a picture, I already know how I like to look in the outfit that I'm wearing. You also have to be uh, body conscious and aware of your, your good parts and your bad parts. So, I mean, uh, nobody has bad parts, but the parts that you want to conceal and the parts that you want to reveal. I like my legs. I feel like I have good legs, um, but I don't, I don't have any hips. I don't have much, I have a small waist, but everything else is small, so you can't really tell. So I like to draw attention to my waist to make my hips appear bigger and my top appear bigger. I have no top, so I don't even try to make that look big because ain't no way. The hips is usually what I go for, all right? And the booty, I wanna pop the booty too. I learned this from Tyra, not taking credit. You wanna create a curved silhouette, at least on one side, to make it appear like you have curves okay so standing straight on you're not going to get that appearance you would turn your body a little bit it's a swivel you don't want to just like try to pop try to pop your hip and not swivel because the swivel is what's going to give you that curves popping one hip leaning on one leg this leg is re relaxing this leg is straight straight 
hip is popping out. I don't know if anybody else can do that, but this is my hip normal. This is what it's popped. No matter what I do with this leg, this hip is stuck, is where it needs to be. And this is also creating a curve here, so it looks like I'm thick, okay? If you wanna look more slim and thick, slim thick, you put your foot in front of the other and give the Shayla. This is the Shayla. If you're not trying to look slimmer, you wanna look thicker, you want this leg to kind of be out, kind of, just a little bit. It can be like right here, and you can still do the same thing. But basically, you wanna create a curve to where your forearm can rest on that and make it look like you sitting it's sitting like you can sit a cup on it and i like to bring my arm around the front too sometimes just give the sashy rihanna shoulder because it draws attention to this part of my body which kind of sucks me in in the photos and then it gives you something to do with your arms because sometimes your arms just be like so you kind of just like or you can look you can look down oh i dropped something let me look Another way is to do the side tooch. This is the club pose. Going to the mall, taking pics in front of the sparkly airbrush backdrop. Okay, that's the... Just don't do this because you're taking it back to 2005. We don't need that. This is going to give you some boote. You can bring one leg forward or you can bring the one leg back. Doesn't really matter. Um, I like to have one leg forward for balance purposes because if I'm back here, I have more room to fall this kind of gives me some balance some steadiness like i'm about to like run you know and this also gives you some good shoe angle you know gives a nice side view of the shoe or you could do the back pose but you're still getting that curve you know what i'm saying like it's not like a complete back it's back anytime you know you're from the side or whatever your head is turned towards the camera because they got to see the highlight flick you know what i'm saying if you don't if you don't have a flat tummy you want to make sure that you're sucking in chest out Okay, don't be slouched like this. Say it with your chest. Suck in the tummy, pop the hip. You can put your Beyonce hand here if you want to. The higher you put it, the smaller your waist will appear and the bigger your hip will be, or the higher up your hip will be. Um, I, I would prefer to put mine around here, but I usually don't do the arms because I don't like my arms. If you like your arms, go ahead, but I don't like my arms. I have Tina Turner arms. They're very muscular looking, so I don't typically go for the arm out thing. Uh, not unless I have like cute sleeves on or something, but other than that, I typically don't do the arm. So, you swivel. Yes, boo. Yes, boo. Yes, yes. So when I'm holding the camera, when I'm taking selfies, I'm always popping. I'm never just standing still holding it like this in the front. No. You want to do it at an angle. You want to look for my um, jail pose, which is the fave. This one is a little bit tricky. You're going to put, this is hard to do in heels, so be cautious. But you're gonna put one foot forward and you're gonna just kind of rest on that foot right there. Put your foot forward, you know, make a gangsta. It, like I said, it depends on the outfit. So if I have like a jacket on, I'll drape the jacket and, you know, kind of make it look cool. Example, exhibit A. I never wear the jacket. Never wear the jacket in the photo. You wanna look cool, don't wear the jacket. Cause this is too normal, unless you're gonna do like pockets. You wanna give them sass, drop the jacket. Drop it on one shoulder and pose, or drop it on both shoulders, really give them something. Tilt your head back, hands down, give them some gangsta a little bit, give them cute. Shoulder up, you know, play with your shoulders a little bit. Especially if you have off the shoulder, like if you have a tank top on underneath your jacket, put some highlight on your shoulder. <sighs> give them shoulder. If you put one arm over, you know, it'll also create some something to look at. Oh, you can also pop the hip too. Put your hand on your hip, give them some, some flair. Um, if you wanna do some exercises, stand on the edge of your stairs or find some stairs and just practice hovering over the edge and like doing some calf exercises. It'll help you to strengthen that muscle so when you're ready to wear your heels, you won't fall. So yeah, I hope that was helpful to you guys. I gotta go eat, I'm hungry. So I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Bye.